Good evening, Termination, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm gonna bring you transporter plane overview. So basically, this is a air unit that, that comes available in the Global Age with the airstrip level three upgrade. It takes uh, three unit spaces. So in total you have four, so you have the choice between uh, four fighter planes or one fighter plane and the transport unit. So I would uh, actually s wouldn't take the bombers or the airships in the army much, unless you need it for the f uh, war versus Forbidden City or something like that. Other than that, these two options are more valid. Um, the transport plane is... is uh, uh, very interesting because as you can see it has a 30 second cooldown and it deploys three units uh, paratroopers uh, with one flight so basically during the fight you have around six uh, troop drops uh, with that plane so that's uh, six times three it's 18 powerful very powerful units you can see the units have 3225 hit points uh, and they back 220 damage per second. So that is basically comparable to two and a half heavy tanks, you can say. Uh, uh, and of course, uh, they come available in, in, in a time span, so you cannot use them all at once, but still uh, very good uh, army. And I will show you how to use them the best way. Stay tuned. So here is the first attack. First attack in my one-hour rating. So basically, what I did is I used the training blessing and and did as many raiding and looting runs as I was able to do in one hour. So I'm just uh, looking for the targets that have more or less decent uh, amount of loot uh, and also relatively easier targets because in the raiding and looting runs you wanna keep most of your army uh, in a healthy conditions because you don't want to waste a lot of time training back. Um, so in, in one hour I managed to do uh, eight looting rounds and as you can see here this is the way I'm using the paratrooper uh, composition. So basically you want to keep the paratroopers together with your main army because uh, when they start uh, wandering around or you're dropping them in the middle of towers uh, they will take uh, damage and then you're, if you're having uh, supply trucks with you those guys will want to ride as close as possible and start healing them in the middle of the battle and then you will lose uh, your uh, very important supply trucks as well and uh, so what you just do is you, you keep dropping them and supporting your main army uh, with, with the paratroopers because these guys are very good in, in dealing damage as well as uh, taking the hits from the different towers like uh, anti-tank cans as well as the mortars so uh, in this way they, this is the most use you can get from them so basically what they are is like uh, overpowered infantry uh, and, uh, and you can drop them roughly around six times in one battle so as you can see here, I'm just, you know, uh, moving my army around the base and, and as soon as it comes available, I'll drop another set of uh, paratroopers a little bit in front of my main army because I want them to be the ones to take the damage and everything, so uh, to keep my uh, officers as well as tanks even in a healthy conditions because uh, you have a limited amount of troop space and uh, basically I'm only bringing usually around uh, three tanks with me in the armies, in the, in the raiding attacks. So these paratroopers are really, really handy here uh, in, in taking the extra damage. So this is, this is my recommendation and uh, I've tried different ways, uh, dropping them in the middle of towers and everything as well, but you need to keep in mind your supply trucks are, are a bit stupid, so they will run in, in the middle of, of nowhere just trying to heal whatever has hit points uh, that has lost hit points so that's why I really recommend to keep them with your main army because 
your army works the best only if they're all uh, stacked together. So here we are, first uh, easy overrun. So this is the second attack I made. Um, uh, so relatively good loot uh, and uh, quite easy base uh, to overrun. And uh, always trying to start with the paratroopers and to get those guys in the cooldown mode as quickly as possible. And actually when you're dropping your troops you can choose them with the paratroopers and you actually don't have to let go, you can just keep dropping everything as I've shown in the speed dropping video. And uh, similar as, as the first session, just uh, dropping them with my main army uh, to uh, have them as, as uh, uh, damage stealers and, and, and taking damage from the towers in front of the other other troops. And uh, works very well. Uh, don't start dropping them in the middle of towers uh, somewhere far away from your main army because then this will mess up the supply trucks uh, positioning uh, as it should be behind the troops not running around the enemy enemy defensive buildings um, so altogether I have uh, eight looting rounds here uh, and as the last looting round I spent some extra time searching my opponent because I wanted to bring something more interesting so the last opponent is uh, level 182 so pretty much uh, maxed base uh, and um, although the, the wall placement was quite ridiculous, so nothing that difficult, but, but this army composition was uh, able to clear that uh, 182 pace quite, e quite easily. Okay, thanks, enjoy! Actually, one more thing to note about these paratroopers is that uh, actually they don't initiate the troop spawn from the uh, defensive buildings. So, if you find an opponent that has, you know, the, all the defensive buildings like garrisons and uh, staples or tank factories uh, somewhere close to uh, put together somewhere, so you can just go ahead and drop the troops there and then keep your main army at the other side uh, but of course there is a threat then that they will start taking damage and your supply trucks uh, might want to move towards them but then you can just uh, be happy whatever they have achieved uh, th thus far and then just rally everything back together uh, where your main army is and uh, also to remind that this is only valid composition for raiding attacks. In the war attacks I wouldn't recommend bringing a transporter plane because in the war, war you need the fighter planes much more uh, because uh, then you need to have as much damage as possible in the single, single battle and uh, taking care of the heavy tanks and things like that so you cannot really choose as as well your opponents as you can as you can in the raiding attacks. Thanks.
Ó. Tudo. 